everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my YSL lipstick collection. Ever since I filmed my MAC lipstick collection there's been so many comments like please show us your YSL lipsticks because I think you guys have seen them on my Instagram and here and there in my videos. So I'm going to show you all of the shades I have with swatches on my lips. And I do just want to quickly say before I carry on that I do have loads and the reason for this is A because I am a YSL beauty fan as you know and therefore I do get sent things from YSL um, especially when they have like new releases. So I didn't actually buy all of these lipsticks, I haven't spent a thousand pounds on lipsticks. It's kind of a mix of bought and sent so just bear that in mind because there are quite a lot and I'm going to try and get through them as quickly as possible and not ramble just so you can see the colours. I'm going to start off with the front row and these are the Rouge Volupte shines. I think it's Volupte or Volup. I don't think anyone's 100% sure on how to pronounce it but these lipsticks are incredible. As you can see the packaging is just second to none. There are no other lipsticks out there that are as beautiful as these and I think that's also part of the Peel and the Rouge Volupte Shine lipsticks are amazing because they're quite sheer and glossy. So even if you have quite a bright colour, it still comes out quite delicate and kind of not too in your face. And so they're really, really easy to wear. Also, they're basically kind of like a lip balm. They have all of these really nice, like moisturising qualities, and they feel so amazing on the lips. Like sometimes, if I don't even have my lip balm to hand, I'll put one of these lipsticks on because they are so moisturising. Now, the first one I'm going to show you is the one that I'm wearing on my lips now and it's probably my ultimate favourite and it's actually my everyday lipstick like I literally pretty much wear this lipstick every single day and it's the shade 44 which I believe is called Nude La Valia. I think that's how you pronounce it I'm not sure they all have French names but it's shade 44 and this is just the easiest colour to wear in the world it's basically just the perfect pinky nude it's like not too pink not too brown it kind of has the perfect combination um, it's really young and fresh and pretty it's so nice for spring and summer. Next I have the shade 47 which is called Beige Blouse and this is another one of my favourites. It's very similar to shade 44, the one that I'm wearing, except it's a bit darker, it's a bit more on the browny side of nude. It's still really really pretty and still really easy and wearable and it's one of my favourites. Next I have yet another one of my favourites and this was actually my very first YSL lipstick ever. I'll never forget it, my boyfriend at the time bought it for me for Valentine's Day and it was such a big deal because it was my first one and I'd always wanted one. And this is actually not a Rouge Volupte shine, it's just the Rouge Volupte which means it's not as shiny and glossy, it's very pigmented and very creamy. So this is in the shade 1 which is called Nude Beige but it's very very pink to be called Nude Beige. It's a very girly pink but not like a bright pink, it's still a kind of neutral nude pink. It's so satiny, it has the most gorgeous texture. Um, and it still kind of has enough sheen to not look matte, it's kind of in the middle. And I'd say this and the other two are perfect like first YSL lipsticks because you will definitely get a lot of wear out of them because they're really gorgeous like everyday wearable lipsticks that you just can't go wrong with. So next I have shade 41 which is called Corail Porter. Apologies if I'm pronouncing these wrong. I don't wear this too often because it's quite bright for me um, but like I said because these are of a sheer texture they are a lot more wearable than they look <laughs> um, in the actual lipstick. But this is a much brighter, more fun, almost bordering on neon like summer pink. It kind of gives you that really nice like fun pop of colour in the summer that will look amazing when you've got a tan but it's also not too bright or bold um, because of the texture of the lipsticks. Next I have shade 52 which is called Trapeze Pink. Now this is not a colour that I would ever really reach for. When I receive colours I don't think I'm going to wear I will give them to like my mum, my family, my friends. So I'm not too sure why I still have this in my collection because I'm not too keen on the colour. It's kind of like a bluey purpley pink which isn't really my thing but obviously lots of people do like that so if that takes your fancy that is trapeze pink. Next I have shade 43 which is Rose Rive Gauche. I am probably not getting these pronunciations right at all but I will write all of the shades in the description box so you can see properly and this is a really really gorgeous colour. It's like a really nice muted rosy pink and I'd say it was bright enough to kind of be like a fun summer pink still. This is probably the shade that I would go to if I was feeling like I wanted to be a bit more daring than my usual like shade 44 um, but I still didn't want to wear anything too like bright and out there. Next I have shade 51 which is called Rose Saharian. Again this is not one of my favourite colours. This is kind of like a more 
bright baby Barbie pink. It's kind of got that bluey tinge in the pink again, which I'm just not personally keen on. So next I have another shade from the Rouge Volupte No Shine range. I'm sorry, I didn't realize I had another one. Um, and this is number nine in Pink Caress. It's like a deep pink with that bluey purpley tinge so again like not my absolute favorite but I do still think it's pretty and wearable more of like a darker maybe nighttime color back to Rouge Volupte Shine this is the shade 48 in Smoking Plum and this is so so nice this is like a deep kind of whiny berry shade quite autumnal and I really really like this because sometimes if you don't feel bold enough to go for that super dark lip um, this is a lot easier because it's kind of just a sheen of colour, um, so it's not too um, severe or bold. And it's just a really, really nice shade because it kind of still has a bit of pink in, it's still very, very feminine. So my final Rouge Volupte Shine shade is number four, Rouge in Danger, and this is such an amazing lipstick. So it's a really gorgeous, um, basically just a classic like Hollywood red and my mum actually wears this one a lot because she says it's really easy to wear and it's like when you don't want to wear a red lip but you do kind of, it kind of gives you that red lip glamour without going like oh my god look at my red lip because of the sheer consistency of the lipstick and it's just really really pretty and like an easy way to wear red lipstick. So now I have four shades from the Rouge Pure Couture the mattes range which are basically some really nice nude matte lips. So this is shade 216 called Red Clash and this is really really beautiful so it's a matte red. This is just a really pretty like more muted pinky red. Like if red could be a nude this is it. This is really really pretty and reminds me of more of like a daytime red rather than a glamorous nighttime red. Next I have shade 206 which is called Grenat Satisfaction and this is like the definition of a wintry Christmas berry lipstick. This is like a really deep beautiful burgundy whiny colour. Next I have shade 218 Coral Remix and I've worn this quite a few times. This is just a really classic pinky nude with a slight hint of coral and although it's a pinky nude I feel like I don't really have any other lipsticks like this shade. It's quite unique, quite a sophisticated colour. Next I have 203 which is called Rouge Rock and this is just your classic like Marilyn Monroe Hollywood red. It's really really beautiful still kind of on the pinky side rather than orangey which totally works for me but this is just really really classic you can't go wrong and then finally for the Rouge Pure Couture mattes I have 217 which is called Nude Trouble and I probably wouldn't really describe this as a nude this is kind of more of a deep purpley pink um, again not really one that I would necessarily reach for although I do still think it's really pretty kind of just like a muted purpley browny pink now I have four shades just from the standard Rouge Pure Couture range and the first is shade 1 Le Rouge which is YSL's classic red lip. It's like their iconic red lipstick. It's just the definition of like red lipstick glamour. They stay on so long. I wore this on Christmas day. I wore it all day. I wore it through Christmas dinner. It stayed on all night and it was still perfectly on by night time. And so they literally don't budge but they're not drying or they don't make your lips like crusty. This is probably my go-to red lipstick. Next I have shade 6 which is called Rose Burger Mask I think and I wear this one quite often and this is just basically like a Freddy colour. This just like my standard pretty rosy nudie pink it's so so wearable so pretty but you can just put this on and not even think about it it's just so gorgeous it goes with any makeup you wear I literally wear this all the time I've even scratched the um the lipstick which is really sad and now I'm so confused because I seem to have two more Rouge Pure Couture matte shades and this one is the shade 215 lust for pink um, and to be honest I don't like this colour, I'm not really sure why I have it and um, I think this, I probably haven't sorted through these yet because this is kind of my lipstick colour nightmare. Um, it's like a really bluey pink. And then finally I have the shade 214 Wood on Fire. This is just another really wearable kind of pinky nude except it's slightly more mature, it's slightly more towards like a reddish side but I would wear this as an everyday colour. Um, it's really really neutral, really muted and very feminine and rosy and probably another favourite. Now I have four more lipsticks to show you. The next two are the Rouge Pure Couture Glossy Stains and these are kind of like lip glosses but they're supposed to just leave a subtle stain they're not like of a glossy 
like sticky consistency um, and I don't really find myself reaching for these too often. I have shade 43 which weirdly is not on the website but this is a really pretty actually like corally pink and because it has like a slight glossy shimmer in it kind of looks a bit rose gold so that's really pretty and I might make more of an effort to wear that this summer. And then next I have 106 which is another nudie pink, a bit more on the bluey side of pink rather than coral, so they're very, very different. But again, it's just like a light, a very, very light sheen of colour, so I don't find myself reaching for these too often, but they are really, really pretty if you just want something super natural, maybe for school or work. And then the final two lipsticks that I have are the Baby Doll Kiss and Blush lipsticks, and these are basically like a colour stain that you can use for your lips and your cheeks. And these are more of like a thick, velvety consistency, almost like a liquid lipstick. The first shade I have is number three, which is Rose Libre. And again, this is not really my favourite colour because it has more of like a bluey tinge to the pink but it is still really pretty and then I have shade number 10 which is nude insulin which I really really like but it's more of like an autumnal winter deeper nude um very mature very classy but kind of one that I wouldn't really go for in the summertime so they are all of my YSL lipsticks not only are the colors gorgeous but the actual formula and consistencies of the lipsticks are fantastic um obviously they are on the pricey side so they may be more something that you save up for and treat yourself or ask for for Christmas like I said I only have so many because I do get PR samples because YSL know that I'm such a big fan of the brand so I'm very very lucky anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please do give it a thumbs up for me and subscribe to my channel if you're new I post videos every single Monday at 7 p.m. make sure you guys are following me on Twitter at Freddie my love with two e's Instagram at Freddie cousin brown and of course snapchat at freddy my love with two e's also I kind of do like a daily vlog on snapchat so if you want to see what i get up to outside of this little filming setup then make sure you guys add me hope you're all having a fantastic week and as always i will see you next monday in my video bye